Are you coming to Bonaire to do some shore diving? Do you plan on diving Yellow Hut? If you're not, you should. Would you like some tips, tricks, and info to make your experience much easier and more enjoyable? Well, that's what we're talking about in this video, and we're doing it right now. Hey everybody, we're down here at Yellow Hut in the southern end of Bonaire, and I gotta tell you, I absolutely love this dive site. Right next to Angel City, it's probably my second favorite dive site on the island. Gonna tell you why that is and why you absolutely must come dive this site. But first, if you're new to our channel, I'm Kevin, and my wife Liz and I, we love to travel, especially to sunny tropical locations where we can scuba dive. We've got a particular passion for the island of Bonaire and the freedom the shore diving here allows. This is another in our series of videos on the different shore diving sites here on Bonaire. In these videos, we tell you everything you need to know about the site. Best place to get in the water, best place to get out of the water. Give you an overview of the site in the water and outside the water. Some navigational tips and a whole lot of other fun information. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, we'd love to have you join our community. So hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you hit the notification bell so you'll be made aware when we have additional content for you to enjoy. But hey, right now it's all about Yellow Hut, Yellow Hut, Yellow Hut. This is an absolute phenomenal dive site. You've got to come down here and dive it. It's an unmarked site. It is in between the marked sites of Sweet Dreams and Red Slave. I'm gonna tell you in a little bit on how to find the dive site, but first let's talk about why you really have to come dive this site. It is a soft coral heaven. It's like a forest down here. The Gorgonians are thick. There is some hard coral in there as well, but the sea whips, the Gorgonians, um, you've got a lot of sponge life as well. Uh, some good tube sponges, uh, elephant ear. It's all packed in and it's very, very dense. I gotta tell you, it's a phenomenal sight. The shallows are great here too. You're gonna find some ginormous elkhorn coral in the shallows, so definitely reserve some time to uh, spend time in the shallows. What's nice about this dive site is it's a pretty shallow grade. You've got the nice southern ridge right after the shallows, uh, probably runs to around 30 feet, and then the, the grade of the main reef wall is not that steep. So it's very nice, but it's just packed full of soft coral. It really is like a forest. If you like turtles, this is a place you need to come because more than likely you're gonna find some here. In the shallows, good chance of seeing rays. Uh, so it really is a great dive site. I, I can't recommend enough that you really need to come down here and dive to this site. Known for seeing eels here too. I love eels, especially big green mores. Um, good chance you may spot one or two on this dive. So get on down to Yellow Hut. Once again, this is in the very extreme southern end of the island. It is unmarked. So let's hop in the truck and tell you how to find it. The easiest way to find Yellow Hut is to drive down to Red Slave, which is the second set of slave huts on the southern end of the island. It's also the next name dive site after Sweet Dreams. So go down there, turn around and head back north. When you stop seeing the house on the left in a brick wall where there's no house, look for the second turnoff. The first turnoff is very obvious. It's just an indention of pavement to the left and Yellow Hut's turnoff will be a little further up. You're gonna drive down in between two dry lake beds. If it's been raining, you may see water on those lakes. But in general, it's gonna be the, the second thing that looks as close enough to a driveway that's unpaved that you're gonna find. And that's right here after that second one. So you return in between these two lake beds, one on the right, one on the left. Once again, they may or may not have water and just drive down to the coast. It's pretty rocky. If you have Susan Porter's Bonaire Shore Divey Made Easy book, in the very back, there's a good image um, taken from the sky. Also, Google Earth fans, you can go find it there as well. But this is how you find the dive site. So let's take a look at the site above ground. It's a really a nice site. We talked about how to find the parking space uh, and where to park the truck. It's a very picturesque spot. You can actually see the slave huts down there far off in the distance. Great place for photography. Shore is pretty easy. Liz is getting ready to show us how to get in. But you do want to watch out for these shifting rocks up here. So as you're walking up to the shore, you do have some coral rubble that does shift under your feet. 
Um, entry is not that difficult. Probably don't need sticks, but uh, this coral, it does shift under your feet, so be careful with that. Once you get in, and Liz is gonna show us that again in here in a second, uh, pretty straightforward. Swim out to the drop off, descend, find a good navigational marker, but make sure you take that compass heading before you uh, descend so you can get right back to the truck. If you're able to dive south, it's a great day. Typically, you may find some current here. Typically, it's never bad, but diving south, my favorite way to go at this site because it truly is a beautiful site. North is great too, don't misunderstand, but oftentimes if you're diving sweet dreams, you'll have gotten down to about here. So if you can go south, you can actually cover a dive site called Chigogo. Uh, and really once you get in front of uh, the White House down there in the distance, the reef is kind of busted up. So come on back this way and you'll be good to go. Okay, now Liz is gonna show us how to get in. One thing to watch out for are these rocks on the small hill. They do shift under your feet, so be careful. There's not a lot to worry about with this entry, but these rocks will shift under your feet. They will catch you off guard if you're not looking out, and you can go down. Especially when we get to this area, Liz is gonna keep this big rock on the right and come on down to the water, but there are a lot of rocks here you need to watch out for and be sure-footed. So be careful with all the heavy gear you've got walking down these rocks. Once you get to the water though, it is pretty straightforward. A little step down, off into the water, Liz goes. But what you are gonna see, she walks out at Sandy, but now she's about to get to a really rocky patch. There are a lot of rocks at this site, so just be careful when you're walking out there. They can trip you, you can slide. It's pretty simple and easy, but just make sure that you're watching out for those. If you look over Liz's left shoulder out in the distance, there's some strands of elk horn, elk horn coral, so watch out for that. Um, but outside of that, it's pretty easy entry. Liz is gonna come on back out, and you get out the same way you came in. Once again, not a whole lot to worry about here on this entry, especially if you enter and exit from this area Liz got in. Sometimes you have waves. This is on the southern end of the island, so there could be some wavier action. But let me tell you, it is a great site that you really must dive. Liz is gonna come on out of the water. It's as simple as that, folks. That's all you have to do here for Yellow Hut. But do make sure when you're walking back up the hill uh, that you're careful on those rocks. But hey, folks, that's almost gonna do it here for us at Yellow Hut. Was this helpful? If so, let us know in the comments. Hit that thumbs up button for us. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you think. Maybe you've dived Yellow Hut before. What do you think about it? Are there other sites you'd like to see these videos for? Let us know in the comments. But for right now, guys, I'm tired of talking about it. I gotta dive Yellow Hut, so I'm gonna gear up, get in, and we'll see you at the next site.